All right, here we go. Corporal's Corner midweek video number 29. We have new gear to discuss, so let's get to it. Those that purchase this item, it's going to come just like this. The shipping label on here. I'm going to open the bad boy up and pull out the entire piece. Oh, what do we got here? So right out of the box, we have a 32 ounce bottle that's wrapped in plastic. We'll go ahead and take the plastic off. There you go. Our plastic condom is removed. Next thing we have, resting inside of our cup holder koozie is our nesting cup. But wait, there's much more. All right, let's go ahead and break this down piece by piece. We have a standard 32 ounce bottle that's stainless steel. It's a wide mouth bottle with standard threads. Standard meaning that most caps will fit on here if you choose to interchange them. Now, real quick disclaimer. Just like most companies and most major companies, this bottle is outsourced from China. All of it is stainless steel from a Chinese company. And most companies do that. And no matter what they try to tell you or pretend that theirs is better than mine or mine's worse than theirs or hers is better than all of them, they all come from the same place. They're all made from the same steel. And I'm willing to bet probably this one of two or three or four manufacturers, they're probably exactly the same. The only difference is I have my logo laser engraved on it versus theirs. So with that, let's move on. The cap. Now this cap is different than most. I prefer this one has a swivel handle on it. Now, for me, I like to dump my gear to campsite or roll with a minimum like my harness, go down to a water source and get that water. Once I have that water, most of the time in the past, what I would do is take the bottle, put the lid on it, put it in a cargo pocket of my camouflage pants or my cargo pants and walk back to the base camp and then boil that water and disinfect it. The swivel uh, handle on here allows me to put the lid on. Now I have something to hold on to and walk back to the camp. And if you think about it, what if the bottle's cold? What if it's you know icy conditions or there's a bunch of snow I packed inside here? I don't want to hold on to this. It might stick to my hand, makes my hand cold. I can carry the handle and walk it back. If you don't like the handle, you can simply cut it off. But it swivels back and forth, and this is the best part. Looking at the inside of this lid, these two rivets right here that allows the handle to swivel are not inside where the threads are. So there's no risk of a leak. There's no risk that it might break off and cause a hole there or damage to those threads. It's inside the plastic on the outside of the two layer lid. So something to think about. Again, if you don't like it, I'm willing to bet that a Nalgene or a clean canteen lid will probably fit on this. Next we have a 16 ounce nesting cup. Several differences though, and we'll go over each one of those. We have our lid. There's a small D ring on here with three holes. Which will allow you to pour the water out or sip coffee if you choose to. It has a recessed lid so the coffee will actually pour down inside and you can sip on it or actually hold it on here and dump out any excess water. What I like most about this nesting cup is that it is a mini bush pot. And that's what I was going for with this. Several of these are on the market and they are just nesting cups. And you gotta buy a bush pot separately. Now, Let's talk about bush pots. Most bush pots are one quart or a half gallon. And that's great if you're cooking for large people, a group of people, large meals. But what I found is being by yourself, solo overnighters, you're gonna warm up a cup of ramen noodles, um, something small, you only need about 16 ounces. So this is actually a two for one, a mini bush pot nesting cup with your cup and bottle set.
So like I already mentioned, this nesting cup is a mini bush pot. We have our small tabs right here, just like a bush pot does. But the most important feature is the bail. The bail has a nice nipple right here, which will allow you to tie a lark's head knot or a stick and toggle around here, and it will go up and stay at the halfway point. I've had too many of these want to slide around, and most bales on nesting cups are just round. And if that's what you prefer, no big deal. But for me, I want something that's a one and done. It's gonna lock off, it's gonna stay on that spot. It's gonna hang exactly in the center where it should be. That way it's not hanging like this or over here, risking stuff spilling out. It's gonna lock it in place, boom, one and done. So the next item we have on here are our handles. They kind of step down, they're recessed in, and I actually like that. I can get all three fingers inside here and it will give me a better retention of that cup versus just one gigantic rectangle. If you hold on to it and see you have smaller hands, the cup wants to go like this. You gotta hold on to it really tight. If you have gloves, it could slip. Being that it's stepped like that, if you have smaller hands or you're a child, you can actually get them up in here, larger hands, a simple third finger on that recessed area will give you more positive control. It's not going to go anywhere. The next feature on our nesting cup bush pot is we have increments on the inside in milliliters and ounces. You can see it's a 16 ounces or 500 milliliters with room to spare. Now technically if you want to boil some water or you have food in here, you don't want to fill it all with the top because it might spill over, you know, the bubbles will come out. But it gives you 16 ounce increments as well as 500 liters right there. Along with your nesting cup bush pot, it comes with a small drawstring bag that you can go ahead and tighten it up and keep everything inside there. The lid will stay on, it's not going anywhere. The bottle comes with a stretch bottle koozie, if you will. So think of it like that. For hot or cold liquids, you're going to slide this over the top of it. But you and I both know if you boil water in this, you don't want to do that because you're melting it on there. But to keep fluids warmer or to keep things cooler, you have that option. If you don't want it, just simply take it, slide it right off. All right, so there's an example of what you're going to get in that box. And we're going to drop 50 of these bad boys starting today into my Etsy store. That link is found inside my video description box. All you gotta do is go there, click on Etsy, and it takes you right to it. On Sunday for my solo overnight video, we're gonna drop 50 more. And if they fly off the shelves like that, I'll order a few hundred more and we'll get them out to you guys. Um, I do not wanna be some gigantic online store where I have a warehouse building, gotta hire a bunch of employees. I'm trying to keep this small. Those that really want to support my channel, wanna support me, and want the merchandise that I carry in my videos, I'm gonna try and make that available to you. Those that don't want it, you got something better, you got something of the equivalent, by all means, keep it. I'm sure it's great gear. And like I stated before, I'm willing to bet that of those handful of companies overseas that make these items, they're probably made the exact same place, sold for the exact same price. The difference is, I have my logo, and we have a nesting cup bush pot. So I appreciate your business. Those that are interested, just stay tuned to my channel because we have more great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. Both links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.